Hello everybody, welcome back to this short video computer training. Today we're going to continue the ADVBS um, thread we, we, we started and we, we're going to use VBS to modify the password never expire flag in, in UAC, in Active Directory, right? Uh, the UAC values are a little bit more harder to change than the other properties um, for a very specific reason, which we'll talk about a little bit later, okay? Now, let's define a constant that we're going to use for changing that specific flag, right? We're going to, I'm going to actually name it the same as the flag in AD, so it's ADSUF don't expire password, there we go, and we're going to give it the exact value that it needs for that bit to be set. Um, then it's going to be 1000. Actually, I'm sorry, that's H1000. Okay. Now, H1000, it's a hexa value that has the bit for password don't expire already set up, right? So that's, uh, it's already toggled to, to yes, to one, right? Um, we're going to set the object now. We're going we're gonna to create an object, object user. The same thing that we did um, in the last um, the last script. So object user, we're going to grab the object from Active Directory. Get objects. So let's get right here, and we're going to use LDAP to get that object. So LDAP. Okay, and it's going to be. CN equal underscore test as the user we created. If you remember, if you watch the other um, videos, OU is going to be the test OU. Then we need to define the DC equal test domain, DC equal test domain parent, DC equal com, right? So now we have the test user in the test OU organization unit from the test domain dot test domain parent dot com, right? So we defined that already. We got the object in our uh, in, in the memory of the program, right? Now we're going to define another object which is going to represent the UAC uh, the UAC object, right? So it's going to be object user that we already have. We, we're going to use this one to define a get property, use a get command and to get the user account control bitmap value. Right, so it's going to be user, user account control. So this command actually uses this object that we already created and inquires the Active Directory for this object's user account control value. Right? So now we have the value and we're going to have to check if it's already set to yes and if not to change it. For that we need a if else and if loop, right? So now there's something we need, we need, to, we need to say about this. Um, these values, security flags are a little bit harder to modify than regular properties because they actually, uh, you, can, you actually have to end, logical end, the value of the user account control flag with the appropriate bit mask to test the bit. Right, if you want to test it, find out if the flag is set or not. Use the OR to set the bit and XOR to toggle it from true to false or from false to true. Right. So for the user we created in the last post, we will change the password never expire flag to yes. Uh, please note that all these Boolean values are expressed in bit masks. That is, UAC uh, is a numeric bitmap value with each bit representing a Boolean value. So you need to check, change, or set only one bit in the entire scheme. We're talking about this value over here. Only one bit needs to be needs to be changed, right? This is uh, that is why a logical operator must be used. Okay, so now we're gonna create the if else and if loop. To do that, we, I'm gonna copy this because we're gonna use it a lot. So, so we're gonna if this value, and we're gonna end it with. The int UAC we already subtracted, we already grabbed from, so we're gonna 
and this value with this value we grabbed right here, right? In TAC, if this if this is true, then we're gonna echo. Uh, we're gonna yes, script dot echo. We're gonna echo a message that says it's already enabled, right? It's already enabled, okay? Else, so if this is not true, so the bit is, if this is not true, if this logical and is not true, that means the bit is not already set and we need to set it, right? So else, we're gonna um, take the object user and we're gonna put the value to it and what um, we're gonna put the user account control value that we have right here Ready? okay so we're gonna put this value we're gonna modify it we'll, we'll put it but we'll actually modify it. we're gonna replace it with the value of a XOR operator right so we're gonna XOR into AC XOR with the value we defined right here, right? So control C, control V, we're gonna paste it here. So we're gonna XOR these two so we can transform the value, this value, we're gonna transform it into with with the into a value that already has the bit set, right? Uh, we're gonna set the info, we already we, we modified object user set info. And after that, we're gonna echo. So we're doing this, the same thing over here. We're gonna echo a command that says the password never expires is enabled. Right? Enable. So enable. And and if of course. And if. So there you have it, that's it. So what we did, we defined a constat with a value that already has the bit set, then we got the object from the AD, from that object, we, we used that object to get from the Active Directory the user account control value, we checked that value and uh, using a AND logical operator with, with the value already set up, and if that is true, that means the bit is already, is already set. If it's not true, then we need to set it and we use a XOR a logical operator to modify that value to have the bit already set. So that's it. You take all these commands, pass them, paste them into a text file, change the extension to VBS and run it against your uh, domain and organization unit of a choosing. Okay, thank you for watching, um, don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos and don't forget to check out our blog, watermark to the bottom of the video for the text version of uh, this video. Thank you.